Dan Bowack with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So I'm here, deer camp, and um, I want to go over what gear I actually brought out to camp today. You can see I'm at my yurt. I'm going to be doing a few nights of camping, a few days of hunting. My wife's going to join me later in the week and do a little bit of hunting and camping herself. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to go over what gear I have. Now, if you followed me in the past, you know I'm a huge proponent and fan of traditional outdoor gear. And you're probably looking at this, and if you follow me on Instagram, you're going to say, hold on a minute, this guy's shooting the newest, latest, greatest compound bow, and what's going on? And um, listen, I shoot compound bows, I shoot um, homemade long bows, and um, I like them all. So this is my weapon of choice for the week. And um, if you like doing something, don't try to fit any mold, do what you like. And I like shooting this and I like using modern gear sometimes. Sometimes I like using the traditional stuff. When it comes to bushcraft and camping, traditional is definitely way to go and you're gonna see that in my kit. And sometimes when I go out hunting, I get the latest, greatest thing and I like that. So um, do what you like and enjoy the outdoors. That's the number one most important thing. So let's dive into the gear, enough of me ranting on about that. So um, weapon of choice this week, Matthews no cambo. Um, six arrows in my quiver three are set up for hunting with broadheads uh, field points on the other three so i could practice here around camp up until um, opening day so hopefully we'll fill the freezer with some meat this weekend so we'll set that off to the side okay so this looks like my traditional bushcraft camping pack which it is we just swapped out a couple things and you're going to actually see how much you can fit in here and the weather is quite warm here Right now, it is getting maybe down into the 50s at night, so it's not that cold at all and during the day. Sometimes we're getting up in the mid-70s, so pack appropriately when you're going out. Um, Gransford Brooks, Scandinavian Forest Axe for all my wood processing here around camp. We're going to the main compartment first. My sleeping quarters, of course, is behind me, and I do have cots in my yurt, so I sleep on a cot. One wool blanket, this is gonna treat me right. It's a heavy one. Just in case it gets a little bit colder, I'm good with that. You know, I love my haversack, so I have this for just doing some scouts, going checking some game trails, stuff like that while I'm around. I could throw some gear in here up until hunting. Okay, now, I have a secondary pack put in here, and this is my hunting pack. What do I have in my hunting pack? Basic stuff, flashlights, marking tape, um my harness for my tree stands things like that i like this pack it's camo it's by badlands and um, i keep all my hunting stuff in here so when i go out i just take this pack i don't have to lug anything else around with me this is what is going to go with me on my hunts along with my hunting clothes so i have some um all badlands hunting clothes tops and bottoms okay so I have all this stuff thrown in here, and uh, that's it. So that along with my bow is going to set me right for all my hunts I'm going to go on. I have some warmer wool base layers here, some heavier socks, and then I have a mesh bag that I showed in one of my other videos when I talked about this pack, and this just has some extra socks, an extra sweater just in case it gets cold, some extra underwear, things like that. And this pretty much stays with this bag all the time. I use this bag a lot in the winter to carry extra type equipment. And then um, a small ditty bag with some sharpening things for my axe, some fish hooks, some um, fixing wax, just odds and ends that I might need around camp, some repair items, things like that. In the front, two pouches of this pack, I carry a clean canteen water bottle with a nesting cup. Fork and spoon. And then in the other side of my pack, I keep a headlamp, a Baco Laplander saw, full roll of bank line for any type of cordage needs, a multi-tool, a ferro rod, some surefire, and some duct tape for fixing anything on the run. So this is my main kit. This is what I can um, move around with. 
I have everything here that if I, number one, wanted to go out and camp, I can do so. And if I took away my hunting gear, it really lightens up this load. But if I wanted to go out and um, hunt and camp, you can see this is definitely manageable. The only thing I would add into here on top of that, if I didn't have my shelter, would be some type of tarp that I can sleep under in case it would rain at night. So if I pack this bag up, I can take it with me along with my bow and I'm good to go. I can go on um, a hunt and hunt out of it. If I want to stay here, I just leave this here and I just take my hunting gear. So uh, this is truly super modern, super technical versus uh, super traditional. And you can see, you just mesh the two together and do what you love. So I wanted to go over this. This is my kit for um, this hunting trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And if you haven't, subscribe to my channel on the link below. <laughs> All right, guys, until the next video, take care and enjoy the outdoors.